this video we're going to be analyzing the forehand volley. We're going to be doing a similar series of events just like we did with the other strokes. We're going to assign key positions, we're going to do a comparison, and we're going to see if there's anything we can do to help improve that forehand volley. Rolling into the first key position, as we did on the forehand and the backhand, the first key position is the ready position. As you can see here, we might not be at the baseline, but we still need to have good foundation, even more so when we're at the net. You've got to be in a good re reaction ready position because you have no idea where that opponent's going to hit the ball. As we can see here, Nadal's got a good base. He's got bend in his knee, upright posture. Maria's doing an outstanding job here in this ready position. Very strong posture. It looks like you could hit the ball at her 100 miles an hour and she's gonna be able to, to defend it. Once we get through the ready position, we're gonna move on to the shoulder turn. What we wanna keep in mind with the shoulder turn is, is that you wanna to try to keep from taking the racket back way too far. This is a fed ball here. You can see Federer is very, very similar to Maria in this position. Notice how the feet are still open, but the shoulders are turned. Same with Federer here. The shoulders are pointing towards us, shoulders pointing towards us, but the feet are still turned. That's gonna allow them to keep the racket in front and volley with a good contact point, which is our next key position. Look at the contact point here with Federer, eyes on the ball, eyes in front. It's important to keep that contact in front because of the word I just used, the eyes. You wanna make sure that you keep that racket in your vision. Maria does a really good job of that right here at the contact point. Probably has something to do with how well she maintained her foundation through the stroke. Very good contact there. You see the string starting to slightly open up as we move on to the finish. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give the ball a little bit of underspin so that it stays low when it hits the ground. And that would be our last key position, which is the finish. Important with the finish is you wanna make sure after you hit the volley that you're in a position where you can get right back to ready. Remember, just because you hit a good first volley doesn't mean that there's not gonna be a second volley. So it's very important for you to get ready for that next volley. Maria, great job on the forehand volley. That wraps up our forehand volley analysis. Next up on the IMG video analysis series, we're gonna be taking a look at the backhand volleys. Keep in mind that the better your ground strokes get, the better your serve get, the more opportunities you're gonna to have to close off the net and hit volleys. A lot of our players here are using dartfish to keep trying to enhance their volleys and make them world class.